So I'm here with Wayne and we are discussing D groups and the importance of prayer in a D group. So before we get started on the prayer thing, tell me a little bit about what your D group routine is like. Yeah, so um, I decided to do my D journal or here journal um, at the beginning of the day. So either it's when I first get to work or before I come to work, I do my here journal. And so for me, it takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes or so. So I'll read God's word, I'll pray about it, I'll explain it, look up some of my commentaries and stuff, and then I'll respond to it. And you know, a lot of the times when I'm reading a passage, my response will be, Lord, thank you so much for teaching me about, like, say, humility. And then for the rest of the day, I'll have prayed about humility and I'll be thinking about that Christian discipline for the rest of the day. Um, so here journals are easy uh, because basically I replace the time that I would spend in the morning reading another Bible passage with my here journal entries. Um, and then at the end of the week, we just get together and talk about them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Different. usually, like when we do our, our D group discussions, you know, every time it comes to respond for me, like I end up responding with a prayer of something that's personal. So then we go through mm. and we read it to each other. Yeah. And in that moment, they hear that this is what was on my heart in that moment, mm -hmm. you know, and they, and we all just pray for each other. And it, it, it really is like a difference in the prayer yeah. because of that. How have your, your D group members helped you to grow in your walk? Yeah, so I'm um, in a D group with uh, Terry Dawson and Terry Campbell, and they're further on in life than, than I am. Uh, they've got adult children and even grandchildren. And for me, it's a chance to see Christian manhood and what it is to be a Christian man. And um, it's, they're just end up being role models for me. As, as a younger guy, I spend a lot of time in God's Word, but I haven't spent that many years with the Lord, and they have. There's a reason the Bible is a book full of people dealing with God, because we're meant to learn from them. I'm meant to learn from Solomon and David and Saul and Abraham. I'm also meant to learn from Terry Campbell and Terry Dawson. And in a church, if you go and spend a lot of time around everyone your age, you'll never learn from those people who God has in your church for a reason. So D Group's been enormously helpful because I wouldn't have spent time with them as much as they do. And I've listened to Terry Dawson pray. Yeah. And you can tell by listening to him when he prays that he has a lot of experience yeah. in prayer. Yeah, exactly. And they say if you want to learn how to pray, mm -hmm. just start praying. Yeah. And you can tell by listening to him. So he's he is just wonderful. I'm sure he's great to have. Yeah, absolutely. As a mentor in that group. Yeah. So you know we're not we're not trying to twist anybody's arm or make anybody do anything that they don't want. Sure, to do. of course. But this not. is for the people who really are saying, all right, I I, I really want to change how you know, I approach this. Yes. And, and that can be, you know, this could be for you if this is something that you're wanting to grow in your walk. Amen. You know, join a D group. I think yeah. it's going to be really beneficial. So this daily prayer mm -hmm. and D group prayer specifically, how has it changed your life? When a Bible passage comes up that says to focus on whatever is honorable and good, and then I respond to that passage, I'm thinking about, Lord, how can I spend my time with better media. Now, those aren't things I normally do because I just don't think about that in my daily prayer. I'll think about the major issues, the things I'm dealing with in a big way, about people, about health problems. But hey, in my D group journal, I just read about media and how am I going to change that? So over the year, it's helped me to find those little things that I need to improve on. Believe it or not, Everybody is a sinner, including myself, and I've got things I have to work on. Um, I think a lot of people who spend a lot of time in the church, they think they've arrived. A disciple is, by definition, a learner. We're lifelong learners. There is no rabbi in the Christian church. Jesus is a rabbi, and we're always learning from him. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm really excited about this, you know, this new D group season, I guess is what we could call it, the new D group season coming up. So I encourage um, any of you who are just looking to grow spiritually, um, you know, sign up out here, talk to Pastor Wayne, um, and even maybe find somebody who you know is in a D group and ask them questions um, and see, see what their perspective is on it. And I guarantee you what you'll find is a lot more positives. Yeah. Um, I, I honestly, I haven't experienced any negatives yeah. with my D group. We, we are so close. We signed this, this covenant 
of confidentiality. Mm -hmm. We can tell each other anything and we can pray for each other and grow for each other. And I've, I've made lifelong friends. Part of me, I guess, is kind of sad that, you know, some of these ladies are not going to be in my group again mm -hmm. next year. But at the same time, the Lord is giving me an opportunity to make even more close friendships that I probably would have never made. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, how great is it to disciple somebody and then have them disciple somebody and know that you have helped start the journey of dozens of people in discipleship. Yeah. It's And I definitely feel a lot more equipped yeah. and ready, you know, to start my own D group. If you'd asked me at the beginning of last year, I mean like one of the biggest questions is, you know, are you wanting to replicate? Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, yes, I joined it with the expectation of replicating, but at the same time it's it's kind of an intimidating thought, you know. Yes, like, yeah. I've got to be the leader in this group now. Like, I don't know if I'm if I'm ready for this, but really, just this past year of studying has really helped me to become, mm -hmm. you know, equipped and more confident in my abilities to, you know, disciple others. Yeah. What's cool is a D group isn't a teacher student mentality. They're more just facilitating. Hey, let's go to this next page. It's really you are among equals in a D group, which is unlike any place you will find in another church program. Yeah.